Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Naturally KPT here. Thank you so much for tuning in. In this video, I'm just gonna be talking about how to maximize your ways to get into physical therapy school and how I got accepted into all three programs that I applied to. But before we do that, I need you to press the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you don't miss any other videos. And make sure you stay to the end because I have a bonus tip for you guys. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. You want to be there for this one, okay? So we'll get right into it. So once you decide that physical therapy is the right career for you, you should begin to look at the prerequisites and figure out when you're gonna take them. For most schools, you will need a year of physics, a year of chemistry, a year of anatomy and physiology, a general biology, an English composition, a math slash statistics class, and a psychology course. During this time, I will also begin to research what schools I wanna attend because you want to keep in mind that even though those are the general courses, each school will vary on the classes that they need. So in addition to the ones that I named, some schools may want a medical terminology, a kinesiology class, or something of the sort. And I would definitely recommend applying to three to seven schools. The last thing that you want to happen is your you begin PT cast or your application and you realize that you're missing a class that you know that the school requires that you want to attend. So definitely make sure that you know what schools you want to attend and what classes they will need. Um, the second thing that I would do that I did is I picked a major. There's a huge misconception that because you're going into the healthcare field that you need to be a biology major or kinesiology major that is not true okay it's not true and i know for me i did not like science i didn't like biology so much to go into like microbiology and things like that so i'm like why am i doing this and i don't need this for pt school so i looked at a career that would interest me which was psychology i like to write i like to read so that's what i did because a psychology had a lot of that so that was the major that i went with also your pt school on your application they like to see that you are well-rounded and they like to see other majors besides science majors because they want to know how you'll be able to bring what you learned in another field into physical therapy so for instance as a psychology major i learned a lot about people how the mind works and i can definitely bring that and transition that into the patient experience because a lot of um, physical therapy is about you know making people feel better about themselves convincing them that they have what it takes to get better so that's why i went with psychology and that was a really good major for me and like i said again you do not have to be a biology or neuroscience major just because you're applying to pt school so if you don't have to kill yourself please don't the third thing that you should begin to do is Take the GRE or figure out a timeline as to when you're gonna begin studying and when you wanna take it, okay? You need about two to three months recommended to study for the GRE and you definitely wanna take it before you apply to PT school. For most schools, you have to anyways. And you just wanna know the minimum score that you need for each school because for most of the schools that I applied to, um, you did I did need a 300, but you don't always have to meet that minimum, but I'll make another video about that because I did not meet the minimum and I still got in. That's just something to keep in mind, but for the most part, you do want to try to reach the minimum. The next thing you need to do is start to get as much experience as you can in different settings. So most schools require a certain amount of hours depending on your school and they will need both inpatient and outpatient hours. So for me, I worked as a physical therapist aide before I even applied to PT school. So I had a lot of 
hours under my belt the more variety in the settings that you work in the better your application would look so i work with both pediatric and geriatric patients and i also work with a therapist that specialized in pelvic floor neuro sports and so on and so forth so you just want to make sure that you have that variety under your belt and you also want to besides if you choose to work as a pta or not but besides that you should also make sure you volunteer i volunteered at a skilled nursing facility which was inside a hospital and you can do volunteer in a hospital nursing home any outpatient facility that you choose but you will most likely have to have both inpatient and outpatient hours and you should really take this part very serious well, i mean you should be taking everything i'm saying serious but this part i realized this is where like my hands-on experience is where i began to you know realize what setting i wanted i want to work in when i'm a pt it made me realize i don't want to work in a hospital i want something more fast-paced so i'm probably you know better off in outpatient and i also uh met a lot of physical therapists that i now have you know long long lasting relationships with and they ended up writing um rec letters of recommendation for me so you really want to take this this part serious and just you know own it and just learn as much as you can before you start physical therapy school because it's really going to teach you what you need to know and just it'll make sure that this is where you want to be for the most part and last but not least your personal statement or essay so there's no really there's not really a guideline as to how to write your personal statement but what i would say is like the name says make it personal you want to use a lot of metaphors and analogy and just draw the audience in when they're reading you want to make yourself memorable this is like one of the only ways to express yourself and for the people that are reading your application for them to hear you and learn more about you because everyone is going to have you know statistics and may have all a's or 4.0 so this is definitely how you will set yourself apart. I'll read my introduction for my personal statement. It's getting dark, so I had to bring my light out. I don't know if I'm like too bright, but um, keep in mind that all schools don't use PTCast. So the essay, you might have to write additional essays. I had about five essays to write when I was applying. Um, yeah, because all school, two of my schools didn't use PTCast and they had separate prompts. But we'll get into my PTCast essay. Sorry, I'm gonna be looking down because I'm reading it. But um, I'm just gonna read the introduction so you guys can get an idea of what your essay should sound like. And um, I really think this is why, one of the reasons why I got accepted because it was very memorable and it brought out a lot of emotion for the people that are reading it. People remember you by emotions you know if you just say things instead of making it memorable or not emotional most times people will just forget it okay so the prompt for pt cast was reflect on a meaningful experience in your life and share how that experience influenced your personal growth such as your attitudes or perceptions and this is just my intro the beeping sounds of her heart rate going into flat lines sent chills through the room like harsh arctic wind, winds and stuck our bodies with coldness as if we had been walking miles in Antarctica's below zero weather. Doctors and nurses rushed into her room and began to attempt to resuscitate her cold body. Get the defibrillator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten was the count as the doctor administered heavy chest compressions for CPR. Clear the body, the head doctor told the others as they then delivered shocks from the defibrillator. I clenched my hands together as if I could hold onto her for just a while longer. The death of my grandmother was one of the darkest times in my life, but forced me to grow exponentially. So, as you all heard, I spoke about the passing of my grandmother while I was um, going through my last year of undergrad as a experience that forced me to grow exponentially because basically um, that 
taught me how to be resilient because that was a really difficult time for me as you can imagine you know trying to graduate with a 4.0 while going through the death of someone that was really close to me so um i just spoke about that and of course you related to physical therapy and how this experience makes you a great therapist or will make you a great therapist and how it'll help you to succeed in PT school because it's not going to be easy as you all know. Thank you guys for staying until the end of the video. Here is the bonus tip as promised and this decision really solidified my acceptance into PT school and that was pre-PT grind the accepted system. They help pre-PTs like myself and you get into PT school by saving time and money. When I signed up, I was given a coach personally for myself and my coach was there for me as well as um, Joseph and Casey when it came to interviews, applying, if I had any questions, they went over my essays for me in a timely manner, they prepped me for interviews and just basically anything you need, any confusion you have while applying, they will be there for you. And I don't know about you, but there's not, there wasn't much people around me that knew about physical therapy. So they really helped me and guided me through that process. And once you get into PT school, like it's more than just getting in. I was placed in an in, uh, internship with them where I learned video editing and learning to do Instagram. You can trend. Um, take that into the field when you just start a own, your own business or anything that you want to do it's not just getting into physical therapy school and I got a lot of great opportunities when it came to studying for the GRE um, Kyle Rice he's very known for um, helping students um, physical therapy students pass the MPTE so you can imagine how helpful he was with us and teaching us what we needed to know on the GRE. But it, I highly recommend looking into it and um, just, uh, just, just do it because you're not gonna regret it, and you're gonna, it's gonna ease any frustrations that you have while going through the application process. And don't take my word for it you know just do it so you can see for yourself thank you so so much for staying until the end of the video i really hope that my tips were helpful if you have any questions comments concerns leave it in the comment box below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and just stay tuned remember to subscribe and press the bell for notifications